Guys, it's that time of the month again. It's monthly favorites time! Let's get monthly favorites, monthly favorites. The package on it, the pack, package. Just fuck it up today. <laughs> get it together. Oh, why don't we Google it? Let's Google it, Google it. I really wanna Google it. Come on, baby, Google it. Oh, I got lipstick on my mouth. Let's try that again. L'Oreal Magic Luby Correct. Ugh. Ugh. But yes, anyways, this is the end of February and it's time for me to tell you what I'm loving for the month. So let's get into it. Like, Let's get monthly favorites. Monthly favorites. Kind of like let's get physical. Is that funny? Do I like that? Probably not. Okay, so the first monthly favorite. I have talked about this a lot since I got it. Ooh, since I hauled it before Christmas. This is my favorite highlighter currently. I don't know if it's just because it's winter right now and that's why I really love it. But this is Max Light Scapades. Look how gorgeous that is. It's just a really great highlighter for pale skin. So the next item is a MAC item, and it is the only item I picked up from the Archie's Girls collection. Look at this packaging, it's so adorable. But I really like the Veronica colors. They were really in my color scheme of what I would wear, but they were sold out of everything. Yeah, so that's sad. But um, I got a Veronica blush. This is in the color Prom Princess. And like, look at that packaging, so cute. I like to think I like Veronica, except I like don't have a rich daddy. It buys me everything and she's way more sassier and prettier than I am. But this is the color Prom Princess and that's what it looks like there. It's kind of a, it's a really sheer blush when you swatch it. There it is there, the back of the hand. But it's got some nice little fine glitters in it. I'm currently wearing it right now and I just think it gives a really nice natural flush. I was really surprised and it was sold on it when the girl put it on me. I was like, I need this. So. I have something from the collection, which is cute. Right, so right now I am loving L'Oreal products. I'm just obsessed with these ones that I have so far and I'm thinking of getting some more when I get paid. But this is the one that I'm really impressed with this one. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer. It's kind of like L'Oreal's called to the Touche Claw, although L'Oreal is owned by YSL or YSL or L'Oreal owns YSL, one of the two, uh, the same parent company. But I have mine in the color Fair. And it's just a twist up applicator. It's a really nice under eye highlight. I don't really have any, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I don't have dark circles under here. But I do like the extra illumination. Just makes me look all glowy and nice. I use it on the cheeks and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. And I just like this as a highlighter. I'm definitely going to buy this when I run out of it. So. so, so far this is my favorite product of the month. The best thing that I tried. I got this at the very beginning of the month. February, uh, the first week of February, and I'm obsessed with this. This is the, this has a really long stupid name. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Caress Aqua Lip Lacquers. Okay, mouthful. Aqua, what is this? Yeah. The L'Oreal Color, uh, L'Oreal Color Riche Caress Aqua Lacquers. Um, and it's like again, it's L'Oreal's call to the YSL Glossy Stains, but I like this way better than the YSL Glossy Stains. Um, the packaging on this is really spectacular for a drugstore product. It's a nice kind of doe foot applicator, but with that gap in the center, so it's supposed to be for ap even application. And mine is in the color 190 Endless Red. But um, there it is swatch there. I just find it is like the most natural looking red color on the lip. I'm wearing it right now. I've pretty much wore this in all my videos this month. Oh. And I really like it. It lasts really long. It's really moisturizing for a lip gloss. Just obsessed with this product. The next product I'm loving this month is a mini travel size uh, product. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I got this at Sephora in a kit. It came with tweezers and the brow gel. And I've been meaning to try the brow gel out. Uh, this is just what it looks like. It's just like a spoolie. Um, I liked it overall. This is the first brow gel I've ever used. I think uh, next time I'm going to go and either buy the Ardell one, the Ardell Clear Brow Gel, or the uh, Maybelline Great Lash Clear formula because I realized that I could just use hair gel for this 
Um, unless I really don't like the consistency, then I will buy this again. But I'm really liking this for the month, and I pretty much use it every day, and it keeps it keeps my brows in place, which I really like, so we'll buy that again. This is a nail polish. I'm currently wearing it right now. This is Layla's Soft Touch Effect Nail Polish, and this is in the color 03 Stone. I picked this up because it was on sale at Lawton's Drugstore for $2.50, and these at Lawton's are $14 a bottle, which is crazy. I'm not going to pay that much for a nail polish. At least this size was. Um, and I was taking it for, like, holographic polish but it's just like a matte polish so kind of over matte polishes but I was pleasantly surprised with this I really like this color um, and it's nice I'm waiting for the, uh, the holographic polishes to hit here in the city that I live in so I can jump on the trend but yeah uh, oh shit but yeah this is a good alternative to that until it happens this is a food and drink item actually I have two. First one it was Perrier's lemon Perrier just been obsessed with it and I mentioned it now so I have an excuse to take a drink just nice like this less flavor the next thing I'm loving this month are David's teas blooming fruit teas now this is a black tea that is scented and flavored like peach I had the lychee one which I really liked these are 250 on davidstea.com or you can get them from your local David's tea store I'll have the link down in the description below because I love this company and they have great customer service, great products, really like worth the money if you're a tea drinker. But I will link it in the description bar below so you can, yeah, get your hands on some of these because they're great. They bloom like flowers in the water and it's just so cool. My next monthly favorite is from Sally's. This is one and only argan oil. Uh, I ran out of my Moroccan oil Moroccan oil uh, so my mom gave me this and I really like this it's doing a good job this is only $10.99 a bottle where my Moroccan oil was like $50 a bottle from Chatters so this is a good replacement until I either save up enough money to buy the expensive <laughs> Moroccan oil or if I'm just gonna continue using this I'm not really sure but it's a monthly favorite next is another product my mom got from Sally's this is Moist Hemp with Argan Oil, catch a theme here, Body Moisturizer. Um, it smells fantastic. If anybody's ever smelled the hemp lotions, it smells exactly like this um, with that light Argan Oil scent. This was $14 at Sally's. I got it for Christmas and I use it when I get out of the shower. It's so great for the skin. It leaves my skin feeling really soft and I love it. Then I have two Lush favorites for the month, and they're both from the limited edition Valentine's Day collection, but if you're lucky, your Lush might still have some, so get in and get these products because they're fantastic. The first one is the Magic Mushroom Bubble Bar. He's so cute. He smells like the yum yum yummy scent, uh, or yum 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 scent, I don't know what it is, but he makes really awesome colorful bubbles, and it just reminds me of something from Mario, which is so cute, or like Alice in Wonderland. I want to eat it, but it's not that kind of mushroom. Okay, so did I just admit I do psychedelic stuff? The next is another limited edition Lush product, and he's a little bit mangled, but this is the X Factor Bath Bomb. I did a demo on this, uh, so just check my channel for that if you're interested in it. It smells like vanilla, like butterball, and with the hint of musk and liang liang, and his scent permeates through the air. It's really great. I love him, and I wish he was a permanent product, but I stocked up on them while they had them. I only have a couple monthly favorites left. Next one is a body spray. This is Paris Armoir from Bath & Body Works. I got a sampler kit for my birthday. That's in one of my birthday hauls that my best friend Kelsey got me. But uh, this originally wasn't my favorite fragrance, but now I'm obsessed with it. I put it on every day, as you can see. It's a little hurting. But it's a really nice scent. It's really, like, kind of... I don't like floral scents, but it's, like, floral and sweet and it just smells really good so that's great and then my last two monthly favorites are books and movies first one this is adventure times jake versus meow my boyfriend bought me this over christmas and it came with a fin hat and i love adventure time so this is what i've been watching a lot and i just finished reading don winslow's savages 
which it was really great. Uh, I really like this book. Normally I read the books and then I see the movies, but this one I saw the movie and then I read the book and I love it. And I love that the cartel leader is a female. I think that's like really a uh, different change. If you're into gangs and crime or if you like, uh, I'm really big into Mexican culture, which is what drew me to it. Uh, and I find drug cartels really interesting. Uh, then pick this up. You're going to read it. And my favorite show for the month is RuPaul's Drag Race. Get it? They are just so fierce and I just want to be a drag queen. I love them. Oh, I wish I could be on the show. Just so good. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's like America's Next Top Model but with drag queens. And they're bitchy and they cry for being bitchy and I love them. Love them. My favorite queens this season are... <coughs> Detox is my favorite. Jinx Monsoon, Alaska, and Roxy. Love them! I hope they're the top four because they're my favorite. But anyways guys, that was my monthly favorites video. Also, you can like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested. Also, links to my Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram will be down in the description bar. Hope you guys are having a great night. I think it's time for awkward outro. I don't really... What's a dance? If you like my awkward outro videos, if you could message me or comment down below the, the dance ideas for my awkward outros, that would be awesome. But I've been really in the 60s lately, so maybe we'll do like this thing. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. Bye!